And I know you guys asked about the Porsche. Oh, yeah. It's a 912, 1966. Look at that. This car wow. he bought from uh, our neighbor friend. You remember him buying this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it was just his getting around town car. Nice little car to present himself in. Wow. So when's the last time this ran, do you know? 92 or so. The Porsche was not a practical car for getting around with the toddler, so he parked the car here and used the van more, the Volkswagen van. It looks extremely solid. I mean, a lot of these cars, cool. you know, I mean, they look great from the top. Uh -huh. He was a third owner of it, I know that. Yeah. It was always a California car. There we go. Okay. Showing 81,000 on the miles. The 912 was the affordable version of the 911 for the US market. I mean, overall, it's just so freaking solid. I see the engine, Robbie. For these early years, the only major structural differences were the location of the motor mounts. The engine is not oh, stuck. Yeah, it's not stuck. And also an accommodation for the oil tank for the 911 engine. Have you guys done any research on this in regards to the value of it? We have had a couple offers, um, and I know it's you know it's nice to have a car that's never been you know repainted. It's as, exactly, much right. as original as it gets. So. So your father um, always told you that it was original paint. Yeah. At first glance, the car looks like it's original paint. It's been in a climate-controlled building. A car like this in this condition is a time capsule. What kind of offers have you guys had? It's a large amount. It's well, I know. I mean, offer. I just yeah. there's... Uh, like twenty-five grand. Yeah. Yeah. If you Google these cars or research these cars, you'll see that they're anywhere from 25 grand running mm -hmm. to 60 grand, mm -hmm. like clean and mi low mileage yeah. and all that stuff. Do you have a number in mind for it? If you pass it 25 grand? It she, didn't more, she didn't really pass it 25 it, grand. Yeah, she, yeah, it was just more like, are we ready to, to get, to to get, get it, it out? It. Yeah. yeah. Any car from the 50s and 60s, if you find a car that's got original paint on it with low miles on it, you have to try and buy it. Take a picture of that. Do you got Richard J3's yeah, number? Yeah, I got his number. They're like unicorns out there. We got a guy that all he does is Porsche. Mm -hmm. Anything early air cooled, like this is his jam. We always kind of chime in with him. He's a pretty good. He's a pretty good dude. Hey, Rich. Rich, what's up? Hey. We're here with the owners of the car. The car, to me, looks like it's original paint, and the floors are rock solid. And they've had an offer at 25000 and they turned it down. Or they didn't turn it down, they weren't ready. Did you pull back the seals, you know, look for any signs of overspray? Yeah, I already did. I did that, Rich. We didn't pull back a hood seal. Yeah, we did. I pulled uh, them back in the here. The fender seal in the front, like where it goes up to the windshield cowl, there's that small seven to eight inch seal that goes between the cowl and right here. The, the fenders. Yeah, that's yeah, but this is, no this overspray, spotless right here. rubber. Oh, 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 oh right here. That seal's painted white. Yeah, so is this right here. A little bit of white marks on the on the seal on the window. Painted. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, so right here. You see it right paint. here, Mike. That's, that's a big difference. Yeah. Okay, so that's you're white. saying on the rubber seal around the window. Yeah. Where it's Here's... white here, there's white right there, white right here. Yeah, I think taking a look for I mean, my dad was all about original. So that's what I've I always heard. Mm. And it's it's totally plausible for that to have been painted multiple times. I mean oh, yeah. you know, it's it's normal. It but those are the things that are going to drive your price to say there's a very, very big difference right. between original paint survivor yeah. and even something that's had one or two resprays. Mm -hmm. it, it all goes into, you know, setting the price. Yeah, I gotcha. That was definitely a surprise when the guys uh, called their buddy. What are you going to do, though? A little overspray. All right. All right, brother, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, hey, All right. best of luck, guys. Be All safe right. out there. Thanks. It's a little bit hard to break the news to somebody that what they have isn't what they thought. But on the other hand, it's good to let them know that it's not because now they can represent the car the way it should be. You should call my cousin and tell him too. He has helped us like price things out and I don't know if he knows that it's been repainted either. My nephew is interested in, in the Porsche because he remembers that as a kid, and so he has some attachment to it. What did he say the number was on it? Like 20 to 30, really like, he, he's Yeah, same thing my guy said. Yeah. I like the car a lot, I think it's a solid car. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can physically see it where Rich can't. It does hurt it a lot that it's been repainted, but what everybody wants right now is their survivor car. Mm -hmm. You know, even more so than something restored, you know? Mm -hmm. They wanna be able to enjoy it, they wanna be able to drive it. I'd be, I'd be in at 20,000. $20,000 was not enough for the Porsche. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I think I'll have to wait, I think, and call 
my cousin see. Yeah. I think there's been conversation about a family member that wants the car. And now with the price point that it's at, I think that's where it's gonna go. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.